Is it social or antisocial to be on the to be on the YouTube? Is it? Is it? Is it? It's one of the two. Maybe it's both. Gotta take the trash out. Feels social because I'm talking, and I'm talking to a mass of people passively. So weird, man. The this internet video breaches time like the fourth dimension. They're saying time doesn't exist anymore because everything exists on the internet right now. You can watch John Lennon or Simon and Garfunkel or President Bush or President Clinton or President Nixon or Ian Crossland or Joe God. Joe, I don't know your last name. Warren 25, Peace 26, Warren, are you? 26, 27, 25, 26? All of us, all these people that have been making videos, all, anybody that's on video now isn't like on a videotape in a library that you got to go get and put in your VCR and watch between 5 and 7. It's there statically. I was going to say 24 hours a day, but even that no longer has precedence. It's just there on the Internet. If you have access to this time portal, you can watch images that have existed over the last 180 years all existing in one moment. It'll be a good learning tool because you can plug your mind into it and learn from all these different bits of things at once. And you kind of go where your mind wants to take you rather than sit in a class and learn this and then the professor teaches you the next thing that he wants to teach you or she wants to teach you. The next thing so you're like, okay, okay. But what about this that will give me a better perception of this to hold that, to move up around that thought structurally? And with the internet, you can go where you want to go to explain what you didn't quite get to go to the next thing. And you can open a new window and leave it there so you get one and then go back and go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Structuralizing activity as like a ladder or a puzzle. To remove the time from it. But it still takes time, but this is a thing. It doesn't remove time completely because it still takes eight minutes or seven minutes or whatever to watch a video. So your time it still takes some time, but it greatly it's like a it's like a wormhole through time. It still takes a little bit of time to get there, but we've greatly diminished the amount of time that it takes to accomplish a goal by making it permanently accessible. I think it's social. I don't think it's public, really. But it's social. It's like... It's like private social behavior, but on a mass scale. Okay. Uh, happy Saturday. And the word fun, man. And the word funny. They go together. And the word warrant is is a mashed together version of the words war rant. I think what would happen is in order for them to get the go ahead to go to war, they would have a war rant and explain why, and then they would be deemed justified in their war. And the cops do the same thing now. They go to the judge and they they serve a war rant. And if the judge accepts it, gives them the go-ahead to go to war with the public, as if the police are at war with the public. Man, we should have a police force that's a like a Jedi type, a pacifist, a peaceful mediation that can go to an issue and calm it. Not someone that goes with guns and points them until the, they get their desired results. Really a communication-based police or law enforcement. Communication-based law enforcement is the most effective form of law enforcement. That's my rant. Peace rant. 
uh, I was going to say like a commune rant, but communism and communication. God, these words, dude. Follow them everywhere. All oh, these words. Like, when really, when you got open mind, open minded, when you're open minded, and you get a wash of words that someone's saying, you'll see these words as meaning a bunch of different things than what you thought they meant. And when they're used in different ways, all of a sudden they take on all these new meanings, all new meanings. Check it. Then I'm gonna go. That's where we're going. 